Actually, I don't even think... I don't even think I need to go to the war table for this. I can just go... Here. I'm gonna go by myself. Alright, where the heck do I go? Um, she's down this way, so turn this way. They are not. You're a liar. Gone, almost to a man. Corrupted or some such. Maker, who's protecting us now? The Inquisition, of course. Maker. <laughs> Celine offers stability, and the game we know. Gaspard is the leader for uncertain times. Quite true. There is nothing uncertain about him. Your words are benign, but your tone implies a scandalous insult. Well played. Not like they would specify that. You're rather insolent for a servant, aren't you? You're a mage, not my patron. I've no reason to be polite to you. Your patron is my patron, and he tasked you to accompany me. <laughs> to report should any Templars attack you. Not cater to your every whim. Same old? Same old. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Foul Those and corrupt are they who have taken his gift. There you are. And turned it against his children. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Let's go! Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Count Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. Uh, this seems possibly dangerous for you. I hope helping us doesn't endanger you. Hardly. Even a brush with someone as well known as yourself can become a great asset in Valroyo. Giving you the identity of those who murdered Lady Montilly's messengers seemed the least I could do. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. Contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montilly's trading exile in Orlais. Um, this... who signed that? Who's sending these assassins? The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montilliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. But the people who signed it are dead. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Orlesian businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary. By its standards. It seems like ridiculous standard. <laughs> we have to kill them, Josephine. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I'm going to defer to her in this instance. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine? The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montilly. Time 
during which the House of Repose will be obliged to haunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. Hmm. But this is all, eh? Even an assassin's word is his bond. Is there ever a count? Does Count Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Count's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A nun to be tied up later. And where is he? I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby closet. Nothing more. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out du parquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Hmm. Why the warning? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Nobody knows about the Thank contract! <laughs> May we conclude with my departure? The people who signed it is dead! This is so dumb! <laughs> uh, you can go. Go then. Good day, you will. My lady, I pray we never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. <laughs> we'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Fair enough. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh. Goodness, uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... Mm. A locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Ah... Uh. I don't think you have anything in your house for, for me to loot from you, so we'll just head out. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Well, you didn't know. You couldn't have known it would lead to this house of repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last du paraquettes. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Rayo? Uh, Liliana has a point. If destroying the original contract will satisfy the guild, I say we do it. But I'm sure my plan will work, Inquisitor. Whatever happens, I'll assign you more guards. The House of Repose won't be idle long. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Varwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Okay. So we can either do it Leliana's way, or we could do it Josephine's way. Leliana's way makes sense 
um, until you realize that doing it the way she wants to do it is gonna slaughter pretty much everybody. <laughs> She's, she makes it sound like they'll just sneak in and it's like, no, no, we're gonna kill everybody and then we'll get the contract. We <laughs> we'll, we'll do it the way Josephine wants. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Um, how do peasants become nobles? How exactly does one turn farmers into members of the upper classes? There are procedures for granting honored citizens of the Empire the title of Lord or Lady. Very long procedures. And so much paperwork. I've called in a substantial number of favors just to cut through half of it. Tell me about the Du Paraquettes. Why did the Du Paraquettes hate the Montilliers so much they set up a permanent assassination watch? There's not much more beyond what I mentioned before. A Montelier and a Duparaquette fell in love. A young couple, pledged elsewhere, attempted to elope. The whole thing ended so violently, it's a wonder any survived. It's fortunate the Duparaquette's descendants hold no grudges. How do you know? What if the Duparaquettes refuse to aid you? I've already contacted the Duparaquettes, Inquisitor. They're ready to help us. It will be a long road, but a lordship is a chance to restore a proud lineage to their heirs. Besides, I've promised them a heavy bag of coin once this is over. Can the contract be annulled? Are you sure the House of Repose will forget this assassin contract on a farmer's signature? It's perfectly legal. In Valroyo's noble circles, a written word is a bond. Besides, the guild would never risk being so unspeakably crass. Fair enough. These assassins are afraid of being seen as impolite. Breaking one's public oath or bond implies a certain... poverty in Orlais. A common merchant may lack the resources or manners to fulfill a debt, but among the guilds, it would be shameful. What's our next move? You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royo if we want to make the Duparaquettes lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duparaquettes as lords. So find a sponsor. That Dalish elf who joined us is eager, to say the least. The Dalish possess great knowledge. We should be honored to have him with us. Well, I haven't looked for him. Maybe I should find him. There was a bit of a fight at the mine with bandits, apparently, and not even Darkspawn. I'm pleased to report that the Darkspawn were cut down with relative ease. We've set up an outpost and recruited locals to begin mining the gold once again. Indeed, I'm told they're more than happy to do so. Now that they're being protected, we found some useful equipment in the bandit cache, and any efforts to gather coin at Skyhold will now be much easier, Cullen. Well, that's good to know. Commander, a small shipment of books arrived earlier in the week, along with a periodical from Valreo. It was unexpected, but sparked some interest. Diversions are few, and it's good to know there's still a world out there. Send our regards to the Lady Ambassador, my Captain Ryland. Okay. A clever idea, in theory. We lost soldiers to sandstorms and yawning pits of death, but the local wildlife is safe, and that's important, right? <laughs> Thanks for guilt tripping me into taking care of the wildlife. For taking care of the wildlife, excuse me. I need to do this one because I clicked on it earlier. Inquisitor. One month ago, members of the Venatori stole sensitive Chantry documents. Knight Enchanter Cazette led a small team of mages and mercenaries in pursuit. They successfully inf infiltrated the Venatori to retrieve the documents and gather further information on the enemy. A second team was to create a distraction, following Cazette's unit to escape. I've received an encrypted message from Cassette. The distraction never came. Cassette believes the Venatori killed the second team. Her cover remains intact, but she fears it won't last. She's reaching out to the Inquisition for assistance. While the Chantry's interests must remain hidden, she will trade her knowledge of the Venatori for safe passage. Night Enchanter Cassette and her associates are former comrades of mine. We can trust her word, and I trust you will respect the secrecy of her mission. 
I've marked their location on the map. We should inform the Chantry that we plan to intercede and send aid. We're doing the Chantry a favor. A look at those documents seems fair payment. Venatory disengaged with our soldiers in that region. I had wondered why. We must send aid immediately. Uh, is the best to send. Inquisitor. So we're sending her. Making the Deparacat's nobility is the key to stopping the assassination plot on Josephine's life. The first step is gaining them a noble sponsor. Countess Dione is willing to help in exchange of news about her lover, Ellery, a mage who went missing after the Mage Templar War erupted. Um, so Leliana would see if anybody marked where the missing mage went. Cullen would send troops to go look for him. Ellery stood for the old circle order. I'll see if any of the loyalists gave him shelter. That seems to make the most sense. Inquisitor. So we'll let her do that. And we need something for Cullen. A report in Cullen's hand. A request worth considering. Using a smaller focus group for patrols has allowed us a presence in areas where soldiers would intimidate and diplomats are looked on with suspicion. Sutherland and his group apparently crossed paths with an unusual dwarven work detail, and now we have an unexpected opportunity. An outreach to the mining cast of Orzammar. They're asking for help finding a lost expedition of drifters and offering sizable rewards. Specifically requested was the company that showed you're not all sky mad. <laughs> So Cullen will secure the surrounding area to ensure that they can proceed without distraction and everybody would do it a little bit differently. Inquisitor. But it doesn't matter who we send. Okay. A letter to Countess Dione. My dearest Lynette, I was injured on the way back from the Conclave when this insane war erupted between the Apostates and the Templars. I made it to a decrepit inn just before the gash on my leg turned into a fever. Fortunately, when the Inquisition's people found me, they sent for a proper healer. I owe them my life, I'm certain. I'm told the Inquisition will deliver this letter to you, which is the first peace of mind I've had since the Conclave. Stay in the capital, my love, until I can come to you. Yours always, Ellerly. Right? So that's done. Josephine? Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's next? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparacats a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. Okay, we did that already. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. That's not it. Arrange a favor, which we did. Speak with Countess Dione in Valreo. Okay, all right. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, I can go by myself. Um, which way are we going? I think. Yes, that way, all right. I trust you've heard what befell Roderick at Haven. I'm not entirely clear, actually. An army of some sort attacked? So we're told. He died a hero, leading the people of Haven to safety through the mountains. Sweet Andraste guide his final rest. Those who oppose thee shall know the wrath of Heaven. Field and forest shall no. burn. This is the chant. So Gaspard favors the trade you've started, but Celine favors the houses you married into? And in the balance is certainty of the future. That's what you lot call certainty? Betting on both? I suppose you are on the surface because dwarves know better. Fair point. Arse. <sighs> Where is this person? I think I walked right past her. <laughs> Mommy. How's it been? 
All's well, it seems. Inquisitor. Yes, thank you. What an unexpected pleasure. You must have had a long journey to the city. Might there be any news from this house? I... Your, your lover is safe. Here's a letter from Ellerly. He's safe with his family in the Dales. Oh, my Ellerly. Oh, bless you. The Dions will sponsor the Duparakets as a family deserving of a noble title, Inquisitor. You have my word. Now please, forgive my hastiness, but I must read Ellerly's words. Make her keep you. Alright. That was easy. Um, so we want to head back to Skyhold. Inquisitor! What happened here? The House of Repose decided to pay a visit. The guards arrived in time, but I should have guessed the assassins would infiltrate the servants. Um, are you, are you okay? Or... I want more guards on duty. I want a tighter watch. The House of Repose isn't our only enemy. It won't happen again, Your Worship. Leliana assigned people to shadow me. They appear to have saved my life. I owe you everything, Sergeant. Only my duty, Ambassador. I'll talk with the Spy Master about these murderous louts. She'll find how they got in. Um, I talked to you. The Iron News on the House of Repose, so and that he has proof. Um, I don't know what that lady was talking about. Uh, what's our next move? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakats a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again. Okay, yeah, that's, she already told me that. All right. So, should be at the war table. Have an Orlesian judge sign papers formally requesting we elevate the Duparakets into nobility. I have approached Judge Ald, who has requested a party of Inquisition soldiers meet him in the Frostbacks for a hunting expedition. Some sort of rare spider, as big as a horse, the judge was telling me, lives inside the caves a few days west of Skyhold. He would like an honor guard who knows the mountains to show him the way. Send some scouts and officers to accompany him and Judge Ald will happily sign the paperwork we require. The commander has kindly found some soldiers he can spare to accompany Ald's hunting party. Do that. Let us begin. Inquisitor, Judge Ald has signed the papers we need to present the Duke Paraquettes as nobility again. There is now only one step left. A royal minister must ratify them. Please come see me when you have a chance. The judge passes on his compliments, by the way. Apparently the hunt was a marvelous bit of sport, and our soldiers acquitted themselves bravely against something called a screaming man-eater. The infirmary reassures me that the injured will make a full recovery, Josephine. Okay. What did Zer Blackwall say? He says so long as we only threaten the Warden's right of conscription without invoking it. Please, thank him for me. It is useful to slip into negotiations now and then. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What now? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakats a lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis with Scott. I'll get you an invitation. Okay. Looks like we're not going to a party, though. It looks like we're just going to the war table. Um... 
right. Find something about Vol. This one. Ambassador Montelier, forgive the late reply. Wonderful as it is to hear from you, I have just ridden from trouble in the Dales. The Civil War has made managing my holdings even more difficult. It would be much easier if I had the ear of the Council of Heralds, but alas, fortune has left me poor in that regard. The Inquisitor is always welcome at one of my humble fets. I only regret that it may not be as grand as I would like. Please, dear lady, promise me you will warn her worship that my preoccupation will preclude a richer evening with my guests. With deep regards, Marquise Viscount. The Marquis is certainly fishing for an introduction to the council before you attend his party. I will arrange one. Let us begin. Inquisitor. I have the time and place of the Marquis' party. You must find a way to speak with Minister Belize privately about ratifying the Duke Paraquette's return nobility. It is the last step we need. She holds the success of this entire endeavor in her hands, Josephine. Alright, so we gotta go talk to that person. Sister Liliana. Documents concerning the Divine's right and left hands, along with information on the Venatory. I trust you're satisfied. Night Enchanter Cazette. Sutherland and company returned with sizable resources, a cadre of support personnel, and promises of future trade with the mining caste directly. Their ambassadors, whether intended or not. Nice. I'm gonna wait before assigning further people. We should go to Valreo. Not that. I can go by myself. Should maybe recolor that armor a bit. Thank you for seeing me in private, Minister Belize. I chastise you for taking me from the party, Inquisitor, but the Marquis throws such dull affairs, it's hardly worth it. I assume you wish to discuss your petition to elevate these du paraquettes to a minor lordship. Tell me. Why should I allow you to pollute the Orlesian nobility any further than it's already been muddled? Well, they were noble. The Duparakets used to be noble. You'd be restoring an old house of Orlay. <laughs> restoring it far too late. What are the Duparakets now? Traders? Farmers? Really, it is too much. The very thought causes me pain. What can you possibly provide that will make your petition worth my effort? Valuable information, connections beyond Orlay, the Inquisition Army. There's supposed to be a fourth option um, where you can actually sleep with her in order to um, win her over, and I don't have that option for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> not, that, not that Anon would do it anyway, but it is supposed to be there. Um, no, I'm not going to give you the army. Connections beyond Orlais. Valuable information. Um, I think Josephine could probably come up with some stuff. Diplomatic connections that reach far beyond the boundaries of Valreo, perhaps. Hmm. I might make use of your ambassador. The Montilliers aren't what they were, but at least they're from proper stock. Arrange for me to be introduced to the court of Antiva. I hear winter is most pleasant by their sea. Very well, Inquisitor. Should you fulfill this bargain, I shall... raise the Duparakets into lordship. Yeah, I think Josephine will be okay with that. Inquisitor? Nope. Sister Liliana says the guests are on their way. The last inheritances are discovered, and taupe is not a spring color. Good. Tell her we've prepared their best stateroom, the inheritors will be contacted, and yes, it absolutely is. <laughs> um, all right. I must return to Valroyo to see that everything is in order. Please join me when you can. Okay. 
I will... I will do that. The more I hear, the more his behavior shocks. Gaspard! He is in touch with his base animality, and relieves it in a manner befitting his station. His lands are an abattoir of pummeled livestock. Better the animals inhabit his lands than his boudoir. That is rather enough. Ugh. Um... This way? I don't know where I'm going. Nope. Oh, these are still here. They're still up. I received a letter from the House of Repose, Your Worship. They acknowledge their contract is null and void. There is no longer a price on my life. That's good to hear. I'm glad you don't have to live your life looking over your shoulder anymore. I regret we were forced to deal with them. That you are endangered by my part in the game. Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? You were a singer? Bards entertain the Orlesian court. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. How did you come to it? What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when I learned about bards. There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was for us. Sounds risky. I don't imagine many first-born heirs join those ranks. No. I was a rather foolish exception. During one particular intrigue, I encountered a bard sent to kill my patron. We fought. Or perhaps scrapped is the better word. Both of us terrified. We were at the top of a steep flight of stairs. The other bald threw a knife and I pushed him away from me. You can imagine the result. I mean... Self-defense. You were only defending yourself. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew him. We'd attended parties together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug, I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. Ah, uh, I'm not sure I like any of these. I'm not sure this is gonna come out the way that I'm thinking. I, I wanna say that... <laughs> I don't know. You of all people should know you can't play the game without bloodshed. Never as the first resort, Inquisitor. Never as a way that makes currency of lives. In all the commotion... Forgive me, I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. Well, I wanted to help. You were taking on a league of professional assassins. I suppose I'll forgive it. <laughs> You've done much to help House Montillier. And should you ever visit Antiva, stories of the welcome we'll give you will be told for years. Yay, so that quest line is done. I I don't know how I feel about the Dalish armor, to be honest. Like, now that I finally have it, I'm so used to her other armor, it just feels kind of out of place now. I don't know. I might recolor it or I might just go back to what she had before if I didn't sell it. Okay, back to Skyhold. Figure out what the heck I'm doing next. Not there. <laughs>